week two, HSK week two, day four. Today is going to be kind of fun. We're going to have three separate segments, all teaching three words that mean always. They, are, they have some differences, but they can all be used interchangeably sometimes to mean always. All right, so we're going to start with the one that is kind of the most generic, and it's its scope of meaning, as far as I know, is just like the English word always. Uh, it, is an, it is an adverb, and it's zong shi, and it's going to come always come right before the predicate that it, that it modifies. Uh, so it's going to come after the subject, then zong shi, and then the, the predicate phrase. Uh, I want to point out that this shi is the same shi as in is, the to be verb, but it doesn't mean that. It's just part of this word. This, is a, this word is a unit, zong shi meaning always. So let's jump in. I, we have three different examples here, and they all have different uh, tones, different um, connotations. Ta zong shi han gu wo. Ta shi zong shi always han very gu wo. Encourages wo, me. So she always really encourages me, or she is also very encouraging to me. She, she also, ta zong shi han gu wo. So that is positive, right? It's it's saying something good. She's she always encourages me. This is from All Set Learning. He always zong shi yigeren. What it means one person. It, it it means one person, but it, here it means by himself. So he or alone. He always by himself eats. He always eats by himself. He always eats alone. So this, while it's a little bit sad. That maybe, but the it's it's more of a neutral statement of a fact. It's not saying um, positive or negative. It's just saying he always eats alone. That might be sad, but it's not like a not like a um, like a criticism of the person. Here we have uh, we have another one, and this one's more negative. Ni nan peng you zong shi shuo zhang hua. Your your uh, boyfriend always speaks dirty language so your 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 boyfriend always talks dirty um or or um dirty is not the right bad like foul foul language your um your uh, boyfriend always uh speaks foul language is that i, I feel like i'm that's chinglish i'm not even sure if i'm saying that right but hopefully you get the point the point that's from all set learning okay so there's zong shi it's very uh, it's very flexible, positive, neutral, and negative. In this clip, we're going to talk about another word that means always, but it's basically always. You see what it did there? Uh, meaning something negative. It's like it's like uh, if you say to your spouse, "You're always lying to me," or "You always say things like that," or whatever. So. Good marriage advice would be to never use this word with your spouse. Lao shi or lao. The, this is a, lao is a shortened version. It means old. So old is, but it's a word together. Uh, or just old. Uh, and it can kind of, you can kind of get the feeling like something, you're sick, you're, I'm sick and tired of you doing this all the time. So it's old. Ni lao shi shuo huang hua. You, Lao Shi, always tell or speak Huang Hua, lies. Ni Lao Shi Shuo Huang Hua. Ni Zeme Lao Shi Jia Ban. You, how come Zeme? Ni Zeme Lao Shi always Jia Ban are um, uh, doing overtime. Why are you always. Is that how you say? I feel like. It's, it's evening time right now, and I feel like my brain is a little fried, and I'm, I can't tell if I'm speaking English or Chinglish sometimes. Why are you always um, doing overtime? Is that how you say it? To do overtime? I don't know. That's from All Set Learning, by the way. Do not, do not always be angry. Don't always be angry. Uh, it's, or, or, you know, stop always being angry, something like that. Okay, so there is lao shi. It means exactly the same as zong shi, but it's basically always negative. And so where zong shi can be positive, neutral, or negative. 
Okay, for the last word that means always, we're going to talk about ejer. And ejer, its scope of meaning is a little bit broader than than the the two words we've talked about so far. So I'm sure it was probably the most like the English word always in its scope of meaning. But ejer, it it literally means straight, as in a straight line. And so like the ejer means straight ejer. It's kind of like that straight along a path. For example, if, if you say "一直走," that means walk straight. It talks about the direction that you're walking. So if you think of it as a continuous line, straight line, it's talking about uh, an action that is going on all through that path. And so it means like all along or continuously. So over a period of time, it's continuously happening. Or all along from that time to that time, something was happening. So it has a broad, it's a bit of a broader meaning. Sometimes it can, it will be translated always, but it's maybe all along or continuously are better ways to conceptualize its meaning. All right, so here's a couple of examples. Jiga Shinchi or Joga, either one. Jiga Shinchi, wa Ijer Zai Kanshu. This week, or this past week probably means that. Jiga Shinchi, wa I Ijer, always continuously Zai Kanshu. Reading, reading books or studying sometimes. So here we have zai to make it continuously. And so it, it really means this, like for this week, the, the whole time I was always doing this activity. So this is a little bit different. This is I all along. So what the, what the point is that the person saying is I have liked you for a long time. I have always liked you. Of course, always doesn't mean always. It just means for for a you know a substantial period of time. Shiba sui yi ho. So that's after the age of eighteen. Shiba sui yi ho. Ta yi zhi yi ge ren zhu. Both of these are from Allset Learning, by the way. Shiba sui yi ho. After the eighteen years of age, ta he yi zhi all along yi ge ren by himself zhu lives has lived so or he lived so after he lived by himself he he all along he lived by himself all along all from the time from 18 until you know some period and talking about in the future so there we go there is eager and uh some different ways to say the english word always good job keep up the good work